In today's video, we are going to swap our screen time for reading. around booktube for extremely long and I never really thought of doing it simply because I work a full-time job so it's nearly impossible for me to do this especially for an entire week but this week I'm actually off so I figured I might as well take advantage and do it now I did start a little late or I am starting a little late it is Wednesday so this might be for like three days or it might go through the weekend it just depends but it is Wednesday March 27th and I have Wednesday March 20th screen time pulled up right over here if you can see with this annoying glare four hours and 43 minutes so that's what I'm going by so I'm going by the week prior now I am taking a social media hiatus that's why my screen time is so low for last week typically I have like honestly like nine hour days sometimes eight hour days very embarrassing I still think four hours and 43 minutes is a lot but in this day and age that's probably not that much when you think about it in four hours and 43 minutes you can almost like finish a book or half a book just depends how long it is that's why i'm saying like i still feel like it's a long time let's go ahead and get started now i have a few updates before we start I have been loving the Kindle because I'm doing the 30 day free trial on Kindle Unlimited and I am literally just flying through books. I understand all the hype with the Kindle girlies now and on Kindle I am reading Throttled. So I have been going back and forth between my Kindle and the paperback. I really only read a little bit on the paperback just because it's so easy to just take my Kindle. I am about I think 70% through this book. Yeah, 77% through this book. So I'm nearly finished. This is the book we're gonna start with and then we'll go from there. So I am on chapter 30 of Throttled by Lauren Asher. Let me set up my timer. I guess I'll just do a stopwatch. It'll be easier that way. Here we go. So in this book, Santi and Noah are F1 racers and Maya just graduated college so she's joining her brother Santi on tour I guess. There's a romance between Maya and Noah and right now Santi has no idea that it's going on. <laughs> Santi's talking so much crap about Noah to Maya. Maya is so freaking nervous. He's like, thank god you're not into guys like him. And Maya's like, should I be afraid of how often my chest constricts around Santi? Why? I whisper. Do you really need another reason besides the fact that he fucks everything that walks? <laughs> I cannot do. finished our first book. Yay! I finished it at one hour and 26 minutes, so I stopped the timer now. I'm kind of glad I finished this book because it's an okay read. It was entertaining enough to where I am reading it and I'm picking it back up, but it's not like I'm thinking about it or anything like that when I'm not reading it. You know, one of those books. I guess I'll give my thoughts later because I have to give it time. But now I have to choose my next read. I had already started Done and Dusted on my Kobo Look up. Oops. I don't know why it locked on this side, but Look how cute. I literally show this in like every video that it comes out because I'm just so obsessed with it and I need to decorate my Kindle. I just have to order the clear case because I have a bunch of stickers. I don't know what vibe I'm going to go for, but I'll probably record that for another video. But anyway, sidetrack. So I think I'm going to continue with Done and Dusted because I'm only 13% in, but I remember really, really enjoying this. So we're going to do that. I think that's, that's what we're going to read next. I have now read two hours and 
45 minutes so that means i have exactly two hours left it's 4 37 pm right now i have read 37 percent of done and dusted which i am enjoying it took me a little to kind of get back into the swing of the book because i was at like 13 percent i think when i started the timer again and i hadn't read this for four or five days now i'm kind of back into the plot or not the plot but the little romance going on here i'm having a good time reading but my ADHD right now just can't sit and look at words on this anymore <laughs> I feel like I need to move my body I want to go to the gym and if I do that like I said I'll probably listen to an audiobook on the way there and while I'm there my couple says I have three hours to go which I only have two hours left but I feel like I could maybe get close to finishing it if I just sat here and read but ugh, I can't imagine myself sitting here till 6 37 p.m how will I ever be able to do a 24 hour our readathon I don't think that that's possible for me like maybe when I was like 12 and I did all-nighters but now no I don't know I'm gonna take this little break I'm gonna eat something and I'll check back up with you later Cheers. we have made it to the three hour mark where's my forehead and i am 40 percent into done and dusted i feel like i've been reading pretty quickly it's pretty interesting i do find that certain details i get kind of bored or like my brain just wanders off elsewhere but maybe that's a personal problem because it's a good book i'm just adhd now i have an hour and 43 minutes left and i think think I'm going to start getting ready for the gym. For audiobook options, I think I'm going to read one of the Improbable Meet Cute books. I've already read two of them. Well, actually, I listened to one of them and I read one of them. I listened to The Exception to the Rule by Christina Lauren and I read Worst Wingmen Ever by Abby Jimenez. So if you don't know, it's like a few little novellas that I guess Amazon did with very popular authors. I'm either gonna listen to Sally Thorne's or Ashley Poston's. Ashley Poston wrote The Seven Year Slip, which everybody loves that book except me. I rated it like 3.5 stars or 3 stars. I do find her writing a little boring, but I guess I could give her another shot. These are like an hour long. Like you can literally fly through these whether you listen to the audiobook or you read it. I almost feel like I read through it way quicker than I listened to the audiobook. Rosie and the Dreamboat low-key have higher ratings. I went ahead and downloaded that and I am going to listen to that on Audible while I get ready. It looks like it's going going to pour outside so maybe i should get going brilliant audio talking about many things today we won't be talking about my appearance so yesterday i ended up finishing throttled i listened to rosie and the dream boat which is like a little novella by sally thorne it's this one right here and it was like an hour long i didn't really like that one at all from all of the little novellas from this improbable meet cute series this is probably the least one that i liked to be honest after that i continued reading done and dusted we finished the four hour 43 minute mark by reading done and dusted and we got like 50 something percent in then i read a little bit last night and i got to 60 percent today's timer started at 60 percent with done and dusted and i do have to read about i think it's six hours and something yeah six hours and 21 minutes I'm only one hour 10 minutes in
pre-workout now and i was listening to an audiobook while i was showering and i was listening to with any luck by ashley poston which if you haven't already read the dead romantics and or the seven year slip this is the author of those two books i'm not sure if i'm just burnt out from all the reading that i've been doing like i read almost five hours yesterday and i'm already two hours in that i'm just kind of zoning out a lot or maybe it's just because these little audiobooks are kind of boring <laughs> that little series is not the best i don't know if it's because i'm listening to it because the first one which was the abby jimenez one i read and i really enjoyed but i don't know i feel like i need to go to the gym move my body get like a change of scenery and then come back and read tonight which i didn't want to do that because obviously the lighting sucks at that time and i have like a full house at nighttime everybody's home from work and all of that but i just need a break we have read slash listened to an audiobook for two hours and nine minutes and today we have six hours and like 20 something minutes so we still have about four hours left of reading and i'm also reading the housemaid's secret i'm gonna read that on my kindle i might also be like this because i have not had any caffeine yet like this is the first bit of caffeine that might also be the reason i'll check up with you guys the next time i pick something up and i have a new timestamp for you <laughs> i'm struggling the last time i checked up with you guys was thursday and it is saturday on thursday i ended up reading three hours and 33 minutes which you can see there i think i was supposed to read like four hours and 28 minutes was it let me check oh wait no that was a day i failed horribly so on thursday i was supposed to read six hours and 21 minutes and i only read three hours and 33 minutes that day i just could not like stay still and i ended up going to the gym so obviously you know i was at the gym i can't read while i'm gymming and it's like a 30 minute drive there plus i was there like an hour two hours and then 30 minutes back and then i got home and it was late you know the whole shebang so anyway we've also been reading the housemaid's secret which i am about 30 percent into that now so then that was thursday that i read three hours and 33 minutes and then in green here you will see i did an hour and five minutes which was yesterday friday and i was actually supposed to do four hours and 28 minutes so i was supposed to do four hours and 28 minutes but i only got to an hour and five minutes and that's okay i was running errands i was out and about i went to barnes and noble i filmed a little barnes and noble bookstore vlog for you guys and so i was busy it happens i still think if you read three hours in a day or one hour even 15 minutes that's perfectly fine but for the sake of this challenge i was obviously supposed to read way more than that for today i am supposed to read today's saturday march 30th so let me check my screen time and let you guys know how much i'm supposed to read today four hours and 58 minutes and i have read only 24 minutes which is the white little lap right there 24 minutes so far i have been filming other videos and whatnot so i still have pretty much all day it's only 1 41 p.m so i'm gonna get to reading now and we're gonna try to catch up because i have to make up for the last two days for sure All right, so I am exactly 50% into The Housemaid's Secret and we are, it says 57 minutes in, but I had already read for 24 minutes. So that's like an hour and 21 minutes in. And obviously I am going to finish this today because I still have many hours left of reading. Okay, so I have to read again, four hours and 58 minutes. And I have read an hour and a half basically. So I have three hours and 20 minutes left. So I'm right here in the book. We are at two hours and 40 minutes. 
minutes plus the 24, that's three hours and four minutes. And I'm on chapter 66. So I finished The Housemaid's Secret, and we are at three hours and 13 minutes plus 24. Three hours and 37 minutes, and we finished The Housemaid's Secret. So now we have an hour and like 15 minutes or so something around that i'm trying to think of what i'm gonna start reading and i think i might actually start powerless i well actually okay i downloaded powerless by elsie silver on my kindle but i actually have one more book left for march's official tbr which is and then there were none by agatha christie so maybe i should download that and read that i'll, I'll update you guys <laughs> i think i'm finally decided on powerless by lc silver i need to make sure that's the third book yeah powerless okay so we are we're three hours and 37 minutes in and i'm gonna start powerless so here we go As you guys saw yesterday, I managed to finish my time entirely. Now for Sunday, Sunday my screen time was only, I only have to read an hour and 57 minutes, which is pretty good and pretty doable. We are going to go ahead and start the timer. I'm currently reading Powerless by Elsie Silver, which I started last night and I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm already enjoying it more than Heartless and I'm getting that feel that I got reading flawless which was just I loved that book a moment of silence for Jasper he literally it says that's probably what you tell all the girls, Jervais. I don't even know how to pronounce that, Jervais. And he says, nah, Sunny, you're my only girl. What? I cannot deal. An hour and eight minutes in. <laughs> This book goes back and forth from past to present, so like a timeline, and it's like right now, it's Jasper remembering like back then when Sloan and him were younger, and it literally says, I came out to the ranch for Easter dinner and wasn't expecting her to be here. And it is literally Easter today. Like, what are the odds that I read this? Does that ever happen to you? I feel like that happens to me all the time, where like I'm reading a book and I read something that's happening in my real life. And I'm like, dude, I was meant to read this book. Like, it was meant to be. I, I'm pretty superstitious, but like, what are the odds? What are the odds? I literally, ugh, I'm loving this book. I think I'm loving this book more than Flawless. Like, I really am. Is he just staring at the wall? <laughs> It has been like a week since I did this whole swapping my screen time for reading and I just realized as I was editing that I never even gave the conclusion for all of these books so that's what I'm about to do now. So we read a total of four books and three novellas. So we got quite some reading with this video. I wish I could do them more often because obviously like I work five days a week and I can't do these as much as I wish I could because clearly they were extremely productive and I'm gonna go ahead and go in order I'm gonna try I'm not gonna go in order with the novellas because I don't even remember what order exactly I, I read them in because I was listening to them in between books as well but I'll start with the actual books so I started the video reading throttled by Lauren Asher I think I was already like a few pages in I don't remember if I was like 30% or 50% and you would have seen that in the video clips but I ended up feeling like this was a cute read I was definitely oh my god there's literally a gator outside of my window that is a baby gator right there that is literally a baby gator look at that thing right there 
Ew. Little intermission there, but as I was saying, I found this book like it was entertaining and cute. I was not entirely, not entirely invested in Noah and Maya, but I was like paying attention. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't dozing off. I like Lauren Asher's writing, but there was something missing in this book. It was like I would pick up my Kindle or the book and I would read, and like I wasn't bored, but it also wasn't giving. I kind of wanted like more from it. It were interesting moments in the book but it just didn't give me the emotion that i wanted it to give me i feel like in my opinion it's like a little hyped up because i know that this series went crazy which obviously i have not read the other books and i want to read the other books in the series to see because i know other people have said like the second and third book are better i don't know if there's four books in the series but anyway this is about noah slade and maya alatore and he's a formula one racer and he's like a famous just typical bad boy like just messes around with the girl just cares about his career and he has like an abusive dad that is a retired f1 racer and he just has extremely high expectations of noah and he has like a absent mother as well which kind of just uses him so that's his life and then maya is the sister of another formula one player what is his name again like shanti or something see i don't even remember the name of oh my god i just saw that Lauren Asher has a actual playlist for this book. I wish I would have seen this earlier. His name is Santi and basically Santi and the whole world knows that Noah is not a great guy and so Maya is like falling for Noah and vice versa. They end up having like a secret romance behind Santi's back and also the dad finds out and he like uses it against Noah and all of that. It's interesting and like I said I remember everything vividly so it wasn't a bad book. It just didn't hit how I wanted it to hit. Like it was good enough for me to want to keep reading other books in the series but it wasn't like my favorite book ever so I ended up rating this three stars and I am very interested in seeing like I said a million times how the next books in this series goes so that was our first book and I'm glad I got through this book because it was part of my March TBR and it's literally been in my physical TBR for almost a year now so I'm glad I finally got to read it then after that I read Done and Dusted on my Kobo that was another book that I feel like was kind of hyped up like it was a same concept as Throttle like it was a good book in the sense that I was entertained like it was like cute and there were times where I was like very interested in storyline and the characters and that's like a cowboy romance but it's a about the girl she's like a horse rider and she gets injured so she comes back to her small town hometown in Wyoming and she is like falling in love with the old family friend her brother's best friend so it's like the same concept as throttled which was brother's best friend trope he sees her and he's like wow like I'm still obsessed with this girl and she starts liking him but the thing with done and dusted for me that I didn't like I felt like they immediately hooked up immediately got like together and i was like this one like for me i feel like it went it they kind of got into it way too quickly i don't know if if that's because i was like coming back from i had just came back from throttled which in throttled they took like a while to finally like admit that they were into each other and finally date but yeah that's the only thing like i didn't love i feel like I wish they would have made me like wait a little more for it you know what i mean but it did give me like yellowstone vibes kind of like how chestnut spring gives you i still prefer chestnut springs so i ended up rating that three stars i forgot what her name is clementine i think it is and she has a nickname and i can't remember but yeah, it's about Clementine and Luke and she comes back. Luke now owns a bar and he's she's like, no, no way you own this famous little bar at our town. And he's like, yeah. And she's like, whoa, now you're all grown up and this, this and that. Like that type of trope. They were cute and he was like head over heels for her. So I did like that. Like I said, it, it was a good book, but it just wasn't like giving me that wow factor. So yeah, three stars for Done and Dusted. And I moved on to The Housemaid's Secret, which is the second book in that thriller series which the first one is the housemaid by frida mcfadden and this one i enjoyed this one was like just a lot of plot twists again and it was very unpredictable which i like in a thriller i believe i rated this four stars this was about again uh, millie which she was also the main character pretty much in the housemaid and she gets a job with 
Mr. Garrick or the Garricks. He's this rich tech guy and he has like his mysterious wife just hiding in their master bedroom and she's like, why doesn't she come out? And he's like, don't talk to my wife. Please don't talk to my wife. I don't know. It's just weird and she's like, what's going on? And then she finds out that he's abusing her. I can't say more because then it would be like a spoiler, but that's pretty much the premise. And I did like it, but I do feel like the first one gave me more of that like thrilling effect. I still like this one, but I rated The Housemaid five stars and this one four stars. And I started, I believe on the last day, I started Powerless by LC Silver and, and I read that on my Kindle and I ended up getting quite a bit in. I feel like 30, 35% in that day. I read a lot and I feel like it was because I was really into the book. I'm actually still currently reading that book right now. I'm like in between different books. But so far, I'm really loving that book. And I was really loving that book when I was reading it for this video. So obviously, I don't have a rating yet because I have not finished it. I'm still like halfway through. After that, well, not after that. In between these books, I listened to a few novellas from the Improbable Meet Cute little Valentine series that Amazon had these authors write. And I listened to Rosie and the Dream Book, Sally Thorne. With Any Luck by Ashley Poston, Drop Cover and Hold On by Desmond Galori. I rated them all two stars except Drop Cover and Hold On, which was a three star. I feel like Drop Cover and Hold On was the least cringy, but then it got cringy at the end with like the tiny bit of spice they had. I don't even remember like too much of them. They were literally like an hour and a half listens. So With Any Luck was about, I believe this like, I don't know if she was a wedding planner. I don't remember what she was, but she basically had like this bad luck where when she would kiss someone, they would then marry the next person that they were with or they kissed or something. Like they would fall in love with the next person, not her. Honestly, I feel like I was dozing off the whole time. I rated it two stars because there was times where I, I would listen and I'm like, oh, this is cute, but eh, it really didn't do anything for me. And then the Rosie and the Dreamboat, it was kind of weird because it was about these two sisters on Valentine's Day and she gets stuck in a flotation tank at a spa and then she kind of like has this little romance unravel with the guy that's trying to fix it i don't know it was so cringe to me like extremely cringe and i did not like it that was two stars it was entertaining but it was cringe and then drop cover and hold on there's an earthquake and this girl that is like obsessed with this bakery shop for whatever reason but she does not like the owner because she feels like he's grumpy and mean goes in there there's an earthquake that goes on and they get stuck together and they confess their attraction to each other i feel like there wasn't really emotional depth to that it was just like lusty but it was funny and yeah i rated that three stars so that pretty much sums up the video i had so much fun making this video and i feel like it was so productive this is like the most i've read for a video i hope that in the near future i can do these even if i do like little weekend ones that would be fun so i hope you guys enjoy and i hope to see you in my next video bye